Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, guide and protect us. School is proud to give due recognition to outstanding pupils who qualified for graduation and special awards for school year 2021-2022. Casey Leon Sofia D. Abidejos with honors. Johanna Yusel R. Alvarico with high honors. Jan Andrea R. Alcosaba with honors. Princess Rian G. Amar with high honors. Gabrielle B. Aniban with honors. Jasper L. Benyanil with honors. Joseph Vince F. Bonete with high honors. Christy Kenny Jane C. Brizo with high honors. Angelo A. Calagos with honors. Rainier John C. Carorocan with honors. Chris Jade N. Castillo with honors. 30 P. Katage with honors. Natalie Q. Sena with honors. Prince Gian A. Colango with high honors. Jeremy I. Cordero with honors. Hanime C. Daliva with high honors. And Supreme Pupil Government Awardee Vice President. Ernest John D. Damasco with honors. Ralph Kirby T. Dangan with honors. Jayun Jays M. De La Vega with honors. Shobe Maria M. De La Vega with high honors. Nicole S. Era with high honors. Jazel Jane T. Espedido with high honors. Arginiver Hayanche D. Estorco with honors. Benzro A. Porones with honors. Leslie May C. Garcia with high honors. 
Brands JCE Hamin with high honors. Carline Miguel M. Wanich with high honors. Ethan James L. Ilat with high honors. Arkin James T. Labon with high honors. Alexa Sofia G. Lalimarmo with highest honors. An academic scholar. Janelle O. Lanzaderas with high honors. Supreme Pupil Government Awardee, President and Academic Scholar. Tisha Nicole and Lucentes with high honors. Carl Ayan C. Mabasa with high honors. Rowie Alexis T. Make with high honors. Nico Sebastian T. Miano with high honors. Charles Fell Joshua A. Militar with honors. Mary All Faith T. Monpon with high honors. Ryan Kyle M. Montecalvo with honors. Ira Grace S. Miargas, Supreme Pupil Government Awardee, Secretary. Alcan B. Narasid, with high honors. Princess Liana D. Naceron, with high honors. Alcris G. Oghayon, with high honors. Gian Carl B. Opiniano, with high honors. And Supreme Pupil Government Awardee, Level Governor. Novian Grace P. Pagayon, with high honors. Princess Fiona A. Pagayona with honors. Princess Kyle N. Paglinawan with honors. Marion J. T. K. with high honors. Angel Shane P. Kazada with honors. Jana Erika M. Ragine, with high honors. Megan Chloe B. Riel, with high honors. Zek Ayan A. Robles, with honors. Christoph Leonard R. Rudil with high honors. Alexa M. Rodriguez with honors. Rowan Dane A. Saldivar with high honors. Seth Alexander F. Salvador with high honors. Antonio Jose B. Sanone, with high honors. April Jane S. Sotea, with high honors. Beatriz Isabel T. Talion, with highest honors. Highest in English, Araling Panlipunan, and Hele. 
Special Awardee, Bulilit Healthcare Worker. Third place, Quizby and Academic Scholar. Felicia S. Valladores with highest honors. Highest in Mathematics, Science, Filipino, and Computer. Special Awardee, Bulilit Healthcare Worker. Third place, Quizby and Academic Scholar. And Karil Joy A. Zaris with highest honors, highest in MAPE, and Academic Scholar. The Honorable RTNFI Executive Director, Mrs. Noemi G. Benetwa, I have the honor to present to you 118 grade 6 pupils who are candidates for graduation of Leonidas S. Verata Memorial School. They have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for graduation in elementary of the Department of Education for school year 2021-2022. By virtue of the power vested in me by the School Board of Trustees and the Department of Education, I hereby declare Grade 6, Class 2022, graduates of Leonidas S. Verata Memorial School. Congratulations! Grade 6 Diamond, Johanna Yusel R. Alvarico with high honors. Jan Andrea R. Alcusaba with honors. Princess Rian G. Amar with high honors. Jasper L. Binyanil with honors. James Lover M. Hubis. Joseph Vince F. Bonete with high honors. Mitch Daniela Cadusali. Angelo A. Calagos with honors. Natalie Q. Sena with honors. Prince GNA Culango with high honors. Annie May C. Daliba with high honors. Shobi Maria M. De La Vega with high honors. Nicole S. Era with high honors. R. Jennifer Yanchi D. Estorco with honors. Kevin C. Gabinete. Leslie May C. Garcia with high honors. Franz Jesse E. Hamin with high honors. Carly Miguel M. Wanich with high honors. Ethan James L. Pilat with high honors. Arkin James B. Labun with high honors. Alexa Sophia G. Lanmarmo with highest honors. Janelle O. Lanzaderas with high honors. Isha Nicole N. Lucentes with high honors. Charles Ian C. Mabasa with high honors. Nico Sebastian P. Miano with high honors. Charles Fel Joshua A. Militar with honors. Marial Faith P. Munfon with high honors. Ryan Kyle M. Monticalbo with honors. Alcan B. Narasid with high honors. Princess Liana D. Nasiron with high honors. Gian Carl B. Opiniano with high honors. Princess Fiona A. Pagayona with honors. Princess Kyle M. Paglinawan with honors. 
Marion J. P. K. with high honors. Angel Shane P. Quesada with honors. Jana Erika M. Ragini with high honors. Megan Chloe B. Riel with high honors. Christophe Leonard R. Deal with high honors. Roan Dane A. Saldivar with high honors. Antonio Jose D. Sanone with high honors. April Jane S. Sotea with high honors. Beatrice Isabel T. Talion with highest honors. Felicia S. Balladores with highest honors. And Kareel Joy A. Zares with highest honors. Grade 6 Perth LGMAD Abacal AC Lian Sofia D. Abedejos With Honors Prince Earl John A. Alayon Princess May A. Alvarez Elijah S. Arinias Maureen May S. Bacani Mary Charlotte G. Padilla Genesis Kadesha Yuri B. Badwa Precious Abigail G. Baldad Christy Kenny G. C. Brizo with high honors. John Perth C. Bumka. Rainier John C. Carolokan with honors. Paula Jabez F. Casapar. Miss Jade N. Castillo. With honors. Shara May I. Cordero. With honors. Ralph Kirby P. Dangan. With honors. Jayon Jace M. De La Vega. With honors. Pia Sophia M. Denzon. Maini B. Elefani Giselle Jane P. Espedido With High Honors Cassandra May O. Familiarad John J. B. Boronis Rio Angelo C. Camo Aaron Kyle G. Gamboso Lorenzo Miguel G. Genshaneo Jonas B. Howard Paranor Charmaine P. Labon Miguel Joshua B. Liabores Cyril J. D. Magayon Jericho Evo A. Mozo Alfris G. Ohio with high honors. Novi Andres P. Pagayon with high honors. Adonis Jr. A. Regalado. Michael Enzo B. Roa. Alexa M. Rodriguez with Jamaica K. B. Sandoy Lebron James Z. Tabuloy Jonavi B. Puy Carl Raymond A. Villanueva 
Samaril, Hyacinth C. Villardus, Grade 6, Saprolite, Joshna E. Abdurrahman, Alexa C. Ambalisa, Gabriel B. Anibal, with honors, Tristan Calro S. Bacani, Princess Novijin C. Berenguela, Rain Daryl B. Bongo, Jan David E. Guaya, Ferdy P. Katagi, with honors. Anadalia A. Pagdesenyo Celine May A. Cortel Ernest Chan D. Damasco With Honors Renzo A. Forones With Honors Levin Jack A. Galicia Miguel Isaiah L. Ismael Arale Dershiva T. Labon Shana Jill B. Llorena Winnie A. Lukyas Rowe Alexis P. Maki with high honors Christine Joy M. Miani Maria Janelli Elizabeth Vianney G. Mijares Dexter B. Meliendez Ira Grace S. Muyargas Daniel D. Umbao Fiona G. Ordonez Marielle K. B. Patalagsa Lori K. T. Perez Vince Kevin E. Pumarejos Yuri Jean J. Rialino Zek Ian A. Robles With Honors Zek Alexander F. Salvador With High Honors Anna Marine G. Soriano Gerald Josh R. Tambis Janice D. Tampali and Princess Rian A. Tomalo Congratulations! This day will be noted as one of those rare and wonderful moments because of our invited guests. Our guest speaker is the daughter of Mr. Romel and Mrs. Jocelyn Nacionales. She is a graduate of our institution, Leonides S. Virata Memorial School, was a consistent honor student and an academic scholar. She enrolled and finished her tertiary education in 2014 with a degree of Bachelor of Science, major in Biology, in University of St. Lasalle, Bacolod City. She continued her studies and in the year 2019, she concluded her passion of pursuing career in medicine with the degree of Doctor of Medicine in Southwestern University, Finma Cebu City. She gained her experience in medical field through internships in Governor Celestino Galliares Memorial Hospital, Tagbilaran City, Southwestern University Medical Center, Cebu City, and Adventist Hospital, Cebu. She successfully passed the Physician Licensure Examination on March 2021. At present, she is a resident physician at the RTNFI Hospital. She is a lady of virtue and simplicity who trusts in God's perfect timing 
and a living inspiration to the young ones. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you our beloved guest speaker, Dr. Eureka May G. Nacionales. To the graduates, family members, LSVMS faculty and staffs, a pleasant day to all. It is an honor for me to be here and bring greetings and congratulations to all of the students who made it. Another chapter of your lives have been closed and today is the start of a new beginning. As I began thinking of what I should say to you, I realized what more can you say to a generation that grew up with unlimited access to information and technology? where questions can be answered by Google, where friends can be found in Facebook, where moments can be captured in Instagram, games can be played through phones and gadgets, communities can be created in Discord, where simple tasks can be done by Siri or Alexa, where you can reach a destination without the fear of getting lost because you have Waze and Google Maps. You certainly are more knowledgeable and more equipped than we were at your age. But remember that knowledge is power, and knowing is half the battle. Education in the hand is a gift, and learning is the essence of the battle. Be vigilant, for knowledge can be deceiving. I want you to reflect and think of those moments where you thought you were right and so sure of things, but then ended up being wrong. Usually, the knowledge we have is just a tip of the iceberg, a small part of a much bigger situation or story. That's why learning is essential. It will teach you humility. Learning will never deceive you. Instead, it will help you grow. High school will give you new opportunities to improve and sharpen your skills and capabilities. But most importantly, it is a time to build your character. Think and reflect of what kind of person you would like to be in the future. Since I am not used to giving advices, let me just give you some prescriptions to prepare you as you transition to high school. First, a dose of good study habit. You are now entering a more complicated and challenging chapter as a student. In order for high school lessons and subjects to be more manageable and for you not to be overwhelmed with the discussions, a good study is always the key. Try to build up a routine. Let your body be used to a schedule that works for you. Always be constant. But rest is always important. Rest your mind and body for you to function well. Do not overdose and underdose. The next is a syrup of time management. Always practice time management. These days, there are many ways where you can manage your time. In this generation, you have planners or to-do list notebooks, right? For example, you can plot your activities for the day, then check out what you have finished and what you have accomplished. For some reason, this works for me when I was still a student. Of course, up until now, I list all the subjects or chapter I need to read or the tasks I need to accomplish and put them in the calendar. This way, I could track and monitor my time and not be behind schedules. Next, a tablet of support network. Find the people that share the same morals and beliefs as you do. Achieving success and sharing good and bad experiences together. That will help you grow and be a responsible individual. Surround yourself with people that will constantly remind you that even though life is always full of obstacles every day, there is and always have a room to breathe and enjoy this new journey. Lastly, appeal of motivation and passion. High school isn't just a time to prove your intellect and capability. It is also an opportunity to figure out and hone your interests and talents. Find your passion. Choosing a career should not just be of what you are good at, but should also be something that you enjoy and you find meaningful. Also, always remember your purpose. To whom and for whom and why are you doing this? Why are you struggling to finish your studies? It will guide you from there. You will not get lost. If you ask me, it will always be my family. I want them to be proud of me. They motivate me to never give up. They teach me humility. They guide me through difficulty. And before I end this, 
let me share you my favorite quotation and give you some inspiration. It goes by, if you wish to reach the highest, begin at the lowest. In every ladder you climbed, you start at the bottom, then doing your best efforts to take every step. In a more simple way, if you want to get good grade in a subject, wake up and go to class, listen to the discussions, do all your homeworks, study very well to ace your exams. If you want to reach high school, finish elementary first. And here you are, graduating. You will be receiving your medals and diplomas, savoring yet another success. This time of pandemic really tests you as a student with a new setup of learning. Congratulations, you did it. It was hard. And it will keep getting harder and harder. With all this being said, I wish you all a happy and meaningful high school experience. May you transition into a socially responsible agent of change. Keep progressing. Cheers and happy graduation. Thank you and have a good day everyone. Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Graduate ng K-12, masigasig sa mga pangarap at matatag sa mga pagsubok. Or K-12 graduates, Pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Ito po ang napapanahong tema ng pagtatapos ng taon. Tanda ng pagkilala sa ipinamalas na katatagan ng lahat sa dalawang taon na pagharap natin sa pandemya. Kaakibat po nito ang minsahe ng pananampalataya para sa darating na taong puno ng pag-asa at pangarap. Taus-puso kong binabati ang ating mga senior high school graduates at grade 6, kinder at junior high school completers, kayo ang bumubuo sa hanay ng mga kabataang matapang na humarap at matatag na, kalag na nakalagpas sa mga pagsubok sa ating bansa. Ipinagmamalaki ko kayo. Dalangin ko na ang karanasan natin sa pandemya ay gawin nating tungtungan sa buhay, paghugutan ng lakas at talino sa pagharap ng kung ano pa mang pagsubok na kakaharapin sa buhay. Ang mga dinanas o dinaranas nating hirap ay gawing inspirasyon upang makamit ang pangarap. Pagpapasalamat naman ang aking ipinapaabot sa mga magulang na kaisa natin sa paniniwala na ang edukasyon ay mabisang sandata sa buhay. Patuloy po nating gabayan ang ating mga anak na sa kabataan ang magandang kinabukasan ng bayan. Sa mga guro at kapamilya natin sa DepEd, saludo ako sa inyong sipag at pagmamahal sa ating mag-aaral. Kayo ay sumasalamin sa mithiin ng DepEd Palawan maaasahan. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Muli ang aking masayang pagbati sa inyong pagtatapos. Mabuhay ang DepEd Bats 2022 graduates. Kaawaan tayo ng Panginoon. I always knew this day would come We'd be standing one by one With our future in our hands So many dreams, so many plans I always knew after all these years There'd be laughter, there'd be tears But never thought I'd walk away With so much joy, but so much pain And it's so hard
keep moving on I'm so thankful for the moment So glad I got to know you The times that we had I'll keep like a photograph And hold you in my heart forever I'll always remember You Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, guide and protect us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.